Hello and welcome to the seventh part of the Opera Sydney tutorial, Lightning. This tutorial was brought to you by Akrito. In this tutorial we will discuss how to add lights and set, uh, set them correctly in the scene. Ok, let's begin. First, what I'm going to do, I'm going to select all the already created lights. In, we've created uh, those lights in the previous tutorial. But the problem is that we haven't add a light to it, to them. So we're going to do that. Just select the lights and the path. Just hit Alt Q on your keyboard to enter isolation mode. What I'm going to do, I'm going to delete all those shapes and redo them. But now they will have a light also um, inside them. This light will be instanced so it will be easy to correct. Okay, so I placed an Omni light. Now what I want to do, I want to make it sh to make sure that it's placed correctly exactly in the center of the sphere. I'll just move it, adjust its position in all sides, in top and then inside, in a side view, in front of you. Okay, now something like this. I think it, it's okay now. Okay, now what I want to do, I want to make sure it has a, a near attenuation. I don't want light to uh, mess up with the sphere. So I'm going to set the light to start um, from a radius bigger than the spheres. Okay, so there will be no shadows uh, cast from that sphere. Okay, uh, will you add a far attenuation, but this later on. Now the purpose of this is uh, I want to uh, clone all the all the shape with the light and I want to make sure that uh, the light is instanced this way it will be easier for me to set it up once I render it okay go ahead and select everything the light and uh, the light and the sh uh, shape and hit recall it lights make it a group called light now press shift e on your keyboard to bring up the spacing tool and pick the path now set the numbers of copies to i don't know 32 maybe okay something like this and hit okay now everything is instanced okay so we have everything but uh, as you can see everything all the lights are a little bit lower just select them all go into frontal view and arrange their position their vertical position okay this should be good i'm going to set the viewport to illuminate with uh, scene lights i want to see how uh, those lights will function and now uh, you'll see how easy it is to work to set the lights now as uh, they are instanced. Okay, we'll play with the far attenuation first. Just go ahead and select the light. And okay now at this point I want to add uh, I'll set everything to a very low quality because I want to add light cache I want to calculate uh, all the lights from now with a light cache uh, bounce okay I've set everything to a very low resolution I don't want to spend any time on useless things I'm just interested in the lights right now and I'm going to test this Okay, it doesn't really work. Okay, let's go back to the rendering, to the render setup, hit the lower resolution, and just here let's ch change both to light cache. Now, 3000 is a little too much, maybe 600 is okay. Okay, now let's test what's, go what's really going on with the light. Light cache is uh, it works only with uh, already existing photon in the, in the scene so it's a very good way to preview how the light would, will function ok it seems a little lower maybe we should uh, increase the light intensity yeah, it kind of takes some time because there are a lot of lights, a lot of shadows and uh, a lot of specular areas uh, don't worry about that. Okay, so this is a very good way to preview the light. Okay, so <clears throat> it's kind of low 
And the problem is that uh, I have rendered from the very physical camera, which already has a, a big F number. And what I want to do, I want to test how the render will look in the perspective view and not in the very physical camera for now. We'll, we'll take care of that a little later. As you can see in the perspective view, uh, everything is more, uh, it, it, it's more lightning. Okay, it's maybe just a little too high. The lighter maybe just a little too high. We'll decrease the color of the background. It was set to white and uh, white adds a lot more light in the scene. I've changed it to gray. Okay, so it looks a little better. Maybe just make it black and make sure you don't have anything on the environment tab. I just want to test the lights alone. Now there are a lot of settings that uh, are probably a little different than from your scene. This is because uh, I've already played with some of the settings to see how uh, things will look. <coughs> Don't worry about that, just follow the simple procedure, add the lights, and in the in the indirect illumination tab just make sure that primary and secondary bounces are both set to light cache and uh, this will be good enough okay now what i want to do i i want to add uh, some lights also in the interior we only have lights uh, on the outside and uh, this this is probably not good enough so we'll have to add some lights in the interior as well. Okay, so I've set uh, the viewport to be illuminated with um, the, the scene lights, not with the default lights. And I've also set it to uh, add some shadows. And now as you can see, it's very easy for me to just control how far uh, the, the light will uh, end and uh, how, how and when it will start. Okay, so what I want to do, I just want to add another light, but uh, make sure that uh, the new lights are not instanced with those one, because we will just play some lights in the interior, but uh, with higher um, multiplier. Okay, so this looks pretty much good. So we have a 0.33 multiplier, and things start to look kind of good. Okay, let's go back to render. Let's see what I've done. How this thing will look in the render view. Okay, so I want to make a by night image at this point. Of course, the principles are a little bit different when um, you want to make a by day image. You don't have to really set up all those lights, it's enough just to add uh, either a V-Ray light, a V-Ray sky, or just a target direct. Now it depends on what you prefer. I think it's, it looks a little better by night, so that's why I've decided to do this. Okay, so I've let it render. As you can see, it's, it's still not enough light inside. Um, I should definitely add some interior lights, but at this point things look quite okay with uh, those lights. Okay, now just drag a copy inside. Make sure it's copy and not instance, and hit OK. Okay, I'm just going to position this, and maybe I will scale it so that the far attenuation will function better. If you scale it on only one axis, you will notice that uh, you will scale also the sphere uh, that controls the far and near attenuation. So basically just scale it on Y axis and as you can see now all the photons will, uh, will go all around the building. So this is pretty much good. Okay, now just drag a copy 
on the other side but this time make sure it's set to instance and not to copy because I want those lights to be uh, to be uh, set up together just rotate it to make sure it's it fits perfectly okay something like this okay so at this point I think I can okay let's add another light in the restaurant as well as you can see things uh, are working a lot uh, very heavy that's because uh, I have all the lights uh, set to display uh, in viewport and uh, there's a lot of computation <coughs> okay position the light also here Okay. And now let's try it out. Okay, maybe I'll increase the multiplier to the interior lights as uh, they have to be more prominent. And just hit render. Okay, so it will take some time to render. This is because there are so many lights. Okay, the problem is that I've uh, rendered it from uh, camera again and the camera has a huge F number. <coughs> Just make sure you render it from the perspective. It's, it's more important to see how things really function in the real world and not uh, viewed, from, viewed from the very camera. As you can see, <coughs> we have a pretty much good result at this point. We will just need to add some uh, skylight. This, is, this will be done using an HDRI image. And it will increase the effect a little more. I'll just change a little bit water and the glass color I don't like because it's too bluish okay so I think this is pretty much it uh, we'll continue in the next tutorial uh, setting up the environment adding uh, an HDR I uh, image to the background and uh, render it using Radiance Map and Light Cache. Okay, see you in the next tutorial.